Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with Yola Live, and today I'm going to tell you how to avoid the pitfalls when powering your Yola box. All right, everyone, I've got a lot of things to show you, and I've got a bandage on my finger, so we're just going to get right into this. I have all of these different power adapters and batteries and everything, and the thing that you really need to realize with the Yola box, and that's all of the Yola boxes, is you need five volts, three amps. That's the key thing. And when you look at all these power adapters, you really don't know what they have. Some of them are high, high charging rates. Some of these are big, powerful power adapters. Some of them have like multiple smart ports on them and things like that. But let's really, let's get into this. And we're going to take a close look at what these power adapters really offer. Because as always, you got to look at the fine print. All right, first things first, you know, you have big power adapters like this one, which has IQ technology and everything. If you have power adapters that you've had for a little while, chances are they're not good enough. If you have new power adapters, they will likely, they will be more likely to come with three amps outputs. So let's take a close look at these. First, um, you, everybody's seen this one. This is the original iPhone charger and stuff like that. So we're going to take a close look at this. And the output of this is, if I turn it around correctly, da, 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 5 volts, 1 amp. This was good for the iPhone 4, maybe. But it's really not useful for anything anymore except maybe to trickle charge it. So you can throw this one away or put it in electronics recycling. Uh, next one up we have is, uh, let's try the big power adapter from Apple. Yeah, this, this thing is big. I mean, it's, it's, it's four times, you know, at least twice the size of this one. So this has got to have lots of power, right? So let's take a look at this one. We find the small print. I turn it around and it says it's 10 watts. Look at that, it's 10 watts. But when we go here, it means it's five volt, two amps. Two times five is 10. That's how you get the watts. Two volts times five, five volts times two amps is 10 watts. So this is not good enough. This is not gonna do anything. All right, we've got a, uh, a power adapter here for like a little security camera, five volt, 1,000 milliamps, which is one amp, okay? Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got this anchor. Now, I have taken this one, and I have, because it's really hard to see the type, especially in the dark, I, I literally just put what it is on there. Uh, this is 5 volts, 2.4 amps. This will charge most things. This will run most things. But honestly, if it's 5 volts, 2.4 amps, this is not going to help your YOLO box at all. Uh, let's keep going. I've got this one, which came from an Asus switching power supply. 5.2 volts, 1.35 amps, which is a really odd specification, but probably because Asus made it, it's specific for something that they are powering. Now, it's still kind of USB compatible. It's a one amp, five volt charger. But honestly, 1.35 amps is just a really odd number. And this is a one amp charger and it's not gonna do us any good. Here's, here's a good one. This is a Samsung charger. Comes with a, a more recent phone and it'll do five volt, two amps, which is respectable. It'll also do nine volts at 1.67 amps. So it's gonna fast charge some of the recent phones. However, if it doesn't say five volts, three amps, it doesn't do us any good. All right, here is a Novatel wireless. Uh, this has a USB-A port on it, and this one will do a whole host of things. I mean, look at this. It'll do five volts at two amps, nine volts at 1.5 amps, 12, vo 12 volts at 1.2 amps. So it will fast charge certain things. But again, because it doesn't say five volts, three amps. It doesn't do us any good. And I'm, I'm almost out of uh, power adapters here, honestly. Uh, let's look at this big, um, I've got two bigger power adapters here. I've got an anchor and a RAV power. And these are two big um, 
power adapter companies you'll find on Amazon. And surely with IQ and iSmart technology, these things are gonna have enough power in them. And honestly, they do have a lot of power. Uh, let's look at the, the power port five here first. And we'll see that this thing has, doo -doo -doo -doo. look at that, five volts, eight amps. Eight amps sounds like a lot, but keep reading. 2.4 amps maximum per port. So it'll do eight amps total across all of the ports, but only 2.4 amps for any one device, and that is not enough. All right, let's look at this other one, this, this iSmart here. Look at that, this thing, metal case and everything. This has gotta be, uh, this has gotta be a winner, right? Look, let's look at this, da, 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 da. 40 watts total, that's a lot. Again, 2.4 amps maximum per port. So again, as I was saying before, if you have chargers that have been around for a year or two or more, likely they will top out at 2.4 amps per port, and that is not going to be enough for the Yolo box. I'm actually going to reach underneath my charging table here, and I am going to pull out one that is actually currently being used. And doo -doo -doo -doo, let's go back over here. Look at that, Motorola Turbo Power. Now this came with a Motorola phone that of course had fast charging. And let's look at the specifications on here. If I can get them, nope, let's turn around. Da, 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 da. Five volts, three amps. That's what we need to see, which is why it's under my table <laughs> charging my devices. Nine volts, 1.6 amps, or 12 volts, 1.2 amps. So it, it supports the faster charging protocols at higher voltages, but because it has five volts, three amps, this works for Yolo Box, which is why it's under my table charging the Yolo Box. All right, I am gonna bring up another one, which is actually warm right now. Here is an Aki, another brand you'll find on Amazon. This has two ports. It has a PD port, power delivery, and an IQ3 USB-A port. It has two ports. This sounds really good, right? So let's look at the specifications on this. Do, 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 do. Total outputs, 18 watts, that sounds good. Look at that, five volts, three amps. And USB-A, five volts, three amps. Look at that. This is definitely a winner, five volts, three amps. Now, it's got two ports and both of the ports do five volts, three amps. But now you really need to do your math because five volts, three amps, three times five is 15. That's gonna use up 15 watts. You only have three more watts left and that's basically just a little bit of overhead. You're only gonna be able to plug in one five volt, three amp device into this charger. It has two ports and both of the ports are rated at that. But looking at the total output of 18 watts, you realize that five volts times three amps is that's basically all of your output coming out one port. So again, you really got to look at all of the fine print on these devices. I have been using three separate power adapters that each of these can deliver three amps to each device, but it's I, I only have so many outlets in my power strip and some of these are kind of chonky and they take up the spot next to it. So I was really looking for something that could kind of unify this and I found this on Amazon and this is an adapter, it says adapter, quick charge. And <laughs> it offers four ports. The top one is a quick charge 3.0, so it'll do nine volts and 12 volts, and, and I think it'll do nine volts and 12 volts. But the other three are just three amp outputs. Two, three, and four are five volts, three amps. Now, if that's really the case that I have three five volt, three amp outputs, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Even if I don't use the fourth one, I'm set because this 
one device is going to free up two other outlets and power three devices. And that's really what I'm after. Right now, I have it running on the Yolo Box Pro, which is what I'm recording this in. I have uh, another Yolo Box over there, and I'm going to plug in this last one. I'm going to wake it up and plug it in. It says 99, so we'll just see if it goes into charge. And I see the charge indicator. Um, the Yolo Box Pro, which I am using with four inputs in it right now, is actually increasing the battery level. It's charging as well as running the device. So that is definitely delivering full current. Uh, let's take a look at this thing. I have my thing right here. So you can see it says QC 40 watt. But if you look right there, this next line down, it says 0.8 amps. And when you do 0.8 times 120 volts, that's going to give you about 96 watts, which is a really good wattage rating for a power adapter that's this small. This one from Aki is about the same size. It doesn't have 96 watts. If you continue to do a little bit of math, you'll see that output one does the three volts, the 6.5 volts, the nine volts, and the 12 volts or nine through 12 volts at 1.5 amps. So that's the quick charge. It's able to do the higher voltages. Output two is limited to five volts at 3.1 amps max. Output three, 3.1 amps max. Output four, 3.1 amps max. Ah, there we go. Total output 33 watts. So what that means is your quick charge is 40 watts and your total output is 33. That means that the way this works is you're going to need to use the quick charge and then across the other three jacks, you're limited to 33 watts. Now, if I'm drawing three amps at five watts, three times five is 15. Two connections will get me to 30 watts, and these three ports are limited to 33 watts. So what that means is you can plug in to the quick charge port and get 5 volts, 3 amps, and then two of the other ports. So you can get three ports out of this, not four, because these three are limited to 33 watts total. It doesn't matter if you're only pulling 2.4 amps, because that's less power. But because these, these devices really are power hungry and they want a full 3.1 amps, you're going to be drawing all of that, all of what's these three green, those 3.1 amps, you can really only use two of those at a time. And then the quick charge 3.0 you can use as well. So my hope that it was a four output charger not quite, because the specifics on the device itself limit the three green ports to 30 watts. But as I only really needed three outputs, I'm okay with that because I purchased a four output just hoping that I would get at least three. And in that case, that works. But what about batteries? One of the really cool things with the Yolo Box is it has a built-in battery. If you want to extend the runtime and you're nowhere near AC power, you can use an external ba battery, plug it into your Yolo box. It'll keep pulling from the external battery as if it's an AC power port. And if you need to swap batteries, you unplug it, plug in a new one, and the internal battery of the Yolo box will be your continuous power source while you change external batteries. This is a great feature, but again, you need to read the fine print. Let's start reading. I have three batteries here. We're just going to take a quick look at these. These three batteries, you can see this one um, has a power button and it's got two outputs on top. That sounds like a good choice. This is a pretty big battery. It looks like it's got two long power cells in here and it's got input and output. And this is just one of those things that they give you at, um, you know, as a giveaway. And this is what I'm going to use to show you what's in most batteries is a single lithium ion cell, a little bit of charging circuitry and everything. And honestly, with a single cell and with this construction and a single um, USB-A port right here, I'm going to say that this is probably one amp of power maximum. 
you're not going to pull 2.4 amps. You're definitely not going to pull 3 amps out of one battery. Let's look at this one. It looks like it probably has two cells in it, but let's look at the specifications. This one has 2300 milliamp hours, 5 volts, 2.1 amps. Again, it's not going to do anything for your YOLO box. Your YOLO box isn't even going to show a charging indicator when you plug this in on top because it doesn't have 3 amps of power. Looking at this last battery, it's got quick charge on one side, 5 volt, 3 amps on the other side, and type C. But the type C is actually input. So you can't use that for output over here. This one's got the nice blue connector. This looks like the one I'm going to use, right? Not the black one. But let's look at the specifications. Look at that. It has quick charge 3.0 and it has 10,000 milliamp hours, which is a pretty good amount of power in this pretty small battery. Is There's the input specifications and output. DC output, 5 volts, 2 amps, 9 volts, 12 volts. Okay, that's the quick charge. So it has those higher voltages for to charge phones and other devices faster. But your standard output, 5 volts, 3 amps. That's the magic number. That means out of this port, I will be able to keep my YOLO box going strong. This port is not going to show up at all because it's only 5 volts, 2.4 amps. So you really need to look at the fine print of whatever you plug into your YOLO box to make sure it's supplying 5 volts, 3 amps. And if you have a multi-port device, make sure that you're not plugging other things in because if you have two devices plugged in to one device that can provide 5 volt, 3 amps, but it's got to share that across two different outputs, you're not going to get 5 volts, 3 amps. I hope this has helped you understand how you can keep your YOLO box going when you are away from AC power and how you can reliably charge your YOLO box. My name is Anthony Barocas with YOLO Live. Thanks for watching.